Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here. So today in this video I am going to show you how to install full fledged chrome OS into any PC or laptop that you have lying around. And installation process gonna be pretty simple. It's even simpler than playing a game. Chrome OS itself is very simple elegant operating system but addition of latest android and you can even use play store well that's a bonus guys this really unlocks some interesting possibilities that you can do with your custom builds and all these kinds of stuff and besides all that this chrome os stays updated with the latest android and chrome os version that's currently available well guys that exceeded way beyond my expectations so without a further ado let's get right into the process Ok guys so first of all we need to download some files so that we can install this chrome os. Now links to download these files are given in the description below so you can check it out. So first we are going to download linux cinnamon. We are going to choose 64 bit version so let's go ahead and download. So next we will require rufus tool. This tool can create usb bootable drives so you can install your chrome os onto your PC. Additionally, we will require some USB storage device like memory card or USB flash drive. Ok, so next we will require latest brunch release. Well, the brunch release provides stable framework for your Chrome OS. Right now they have two options, either you can go with the stable build or you can go for the beta testing. Right now I am going to download stable version. So let's click on the stable version and click on to the tar.gz file to download it. Ok guys so besides all these files we need a recovery image to install chrome os. So the last link given in the description below is for the zork recovery. Now the speciality of zork recovery is that it works on amd cpus. So just search for zork z o r k and here you can see code name zork and this is the recovery image. Right now 87 is the latest version. So click over here and download it. If you are watching this video later on, you might find newer versions of recovery. So you can definitely choose those. This Zork recovery works on AMD's A4, A5 and A6 lineup of CPUs. So if you have any laptop which has a AMD's A series of CPU, well you can install this Zork recovery. So I suggested this recovery to one of our subscriber and as you can see he is using his AMD A6 CPU and the Chrome OS is running flawlessly. So let's continue to the installation. After the download is complete make sure to extract the files. So here in my garage I have downloaded all these 4 files but you know what's more important than this? Knowledge. Ok guys so jokes apart let's open up the Rufus tool. So here I have connected 64GB storage device. So let's select this device. By the way you can use 8 or 16GB of storage device with no problem. Then select here your downloaded Linux Mint Cinnamon 64 bit image. Then click on open. Now keep rest of the options as it is on default and click on start. Click on yes. As per the recommendation. Keep it in ISO image mode. Click OK again. Ok guys so now it will create Linux Mint bootable device. This process may take a while so please be patient here. Ok guys so now the process is complete. So I am going to close this. Now we need to extract the brunch release. So right click on it and click extract. Ok guys so our extraction is complete. So let's get into the folder and select the files. Click on cut these files. We need to move this file to our bootable device. So I'm going to choose my 64GB Linux Mint device. Now we need to make a new folder into this device. Let's name this folder as Chrome OS and paste these files into our newly created chrome os folder so looks like our copy is complete ok guys so we have already downloaded ramos recovery file now we need to extract the file and copy this file into our chrome os folder you have to make sure that your recovery name should be renamed as ramos underscore recovery dot bin this is very important make sure to rename it 
So here we go, I have pasted the recovery file as well. Also, we are going to need install.sh file. So let's select and copy this file into our Chrome OS folder. Okay guys, so this is all the files we need. Remember these are 6 items and name should be correct as shown here. Okay guys, so now we need to insert our bootable device and then we are going to turn on our laptop by pressing F2 or any BIOS hotkey that you have we are going to enable the options into our motherboard so first we need to see UEFI option so we need to enable the UEFI boot so into the boot list you have to select UEFI make sure this option is enabled otherwise you can't proceed to the next step ok guys so now we are going to exit the BIOS by saving the changes then quickly we need to press F12 to get into the boot options. So right here EFI USB 1 path 1 generic storage device you have to press enter. So right here I'm going to select start Linux mint the first option we have. So our Linux mint is booted up. Ok guys, so first of all, let's connect to the internet so we can download some required files and packages. So here I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password to connect to the network. So here it is, our Wi-Fi is connected. Right here in the file system, search for folder name Chrome OS that we have already created. Next step is like, share and subscribe to my channel. Ok guys, so let's double click on to our Chrome OS folder. Here are all the files we have copied. Now right click here and click on open in terminal. Now the terminal window will allow us to install our Chrome OS. Ok guys, so the hardest part is done. Now we just need to put one command into the terminal and rest of the job will be done by the Linux. So start typing sudo sh install.sh and press enter now the chrome os installation process will begin and linux will automatically install the chrome os onto your pc so after some time it will ask for the confirmation to erase your connected hard drive make sure you don't have any important data in that hard drive otherwise you may lose it so here you can see the dialog all data on device slash dev slash sda will be erased here you have to type yes underneath the command so just type yes and press enter that's it guys that's all you need to do if you got the confirmation chrome os installed you are good to go ok guys so now you have to reboot your system by clicking over here then you can just shut down and reboot your system to let the chrome os begin just make sure before you reboot you need to remove this drive that we have connected earlier then turn on the power button and that's it guys that's all you need to do guys if we hit 100k like i will do windows chrome os linux android in one pc or laptop ok guys so our chromebook is ready so it took me quite a while to find this process that works flawlessly and thanks to the developers that helped me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. Your one like or share can change my life so please do this guys. By the way you can even run Linux on it so yeah that's a bonus again. And the entire play store is waiting for you. So what you will do with this chromebook? Let me know what do you think. All the fun is yours now. Now there are so much possibilities you can do with this chromebook. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.